In the last few videos, we've been talking a lot about the transport controls and how to use the numeric keypad on your keyboard to control the transport of Cubase. However, what if your computer doesn't have a numeric keypad, either because you're using a keyboard like the new Apple wireless keyboard, the Bluetooth keyboard that's very short and therefore doesn't have a numeric keypad, or you're using a MacBook Pro or other laptop that also doesn't have a numeric keypad. Well, I want to quickly show you some other options for transport. So I'm going to launch a browser and I'm going to go to the Steinberg homepage at steinberg.net. And I'm going to show you the Cubase controller called the CC121. So I'm going to go to products and I'm going to go to the CC121. And what this is, is a dedicated hardware controller for either Cubase or the audio post version of Cubase, which is called Nuendo. And you can see that it has the transport controls right on the front, as well as a motorized fader, all the channel strip controls, the equalizer controls, and a shuttle and jog wheel, as well as some other customizable function buttons. So this controller, since it's made for Cubase, is a really slick way to go for controlling not only transport, but other really important functions inside of Cubase. And it's made of metal, and I use one, it's very, very rugged, but it might be out of the price range of some of the entry-level users. But you really should explore this CC 121 if you're looking for the ultimate Cubase controller. So let's talk about some of the other lesser expensive options, especially if you have an Apple iPhone or an iPad. So let's go to products again and let's look at the Cubase IC. Cubase IC is an iPhone app, and what it can be used for is to control the transport of Cubase if you have an Apple iPhone. So let's take a look at some of the controls that you can use by clicking on this button, which will take us right to the App Store, or sometimes it will just launch iTunes automatically for us so that we can see a little bit more about what we can do. So if we look, here we go, we're going into iTunes. So here are some of the screenshots of Cubase IC. You can see that you have transport control buttons right on the front of your iPhone. So instead of having to use a numeric keypad, you can connect this app to your computer through a Wi-Fi connection and control Cubase right from your iPhone. And not only do you have transport controls, but you also have the arranger window. And we're going to talk about how to use the arranger track in another video. But more importantly, you can control the transport port right from your iPhone. So Cubase IC is a really great way to go if you have an iPhone, and you'll notice that it's free. It doesn't cost anything, so this is one of the best and least expensive ways to control Cubase if you already have an Apple iPhone. But let's talk about a couple of others. Saitara Software, which is SAI. T-A-R-A software.com makes a whole bunch of apps for both iPhones and iPads, and they're all called the AC7. So let's talk about the iPhone version. So I'm going to click on the Core family, and let's explore the AC7 Core Mini. This is a controller for Cubase or a lot of other DAW programs like Logic and Pro Tools, and you can use it inside of Cubase to control the faders, or let's explore some of the other things that you can do. We can do the faders, you can also click on the transport button to get to the transport controls, and there's also a shuttle and jog wheel. So this is an iPhone app, and you'll notice that it's only $5. So if you have an iPhone and 5 bucks, you can get a nice little iPhone controller for Cubase. But let's explore some of the other controller options from Satara, including the AC7 Core. This is the big version, which is made for the Apple iPad. And as you can see, it's bigger, so the faders and the shuttle and jog wheel and the transport control can all fit on the larger 10-inch screen of an Apple iPad. So let's explore some of the other things that you can do with that. You can change the skins so that it looks a little bit different. 
uh, either with a silver screen or with the standard black screen. And all the controls are located on one page. So the faders, VU meters, transport controls, and the shuttle and jog wheel are all on one page. So you don't have to switch back and forth. Now, this is a little bit more money than the iPhone version, which is the AC7 Mini. However, you'll notice that it's still only about $8. So if you already have an Apple iPad and eight bucks, you can get a really great app that can control not only transport, but also fader and shuttle and jog wheel. So now that we know about some other transport options, let's learn about redo, undo, and edit history.